Like so many teachers right now, I'm setting my students' work online. I'm setting lots of different types of work, but one of the main sources of information that I'll be setting will be videos, and I just thought I'd check in to make sure that you know how to learn from a video and how that's different from learning in class. <laughs> One of the main things is you can't put your hand up and ask questions. So that's a real drawback. An advantage is that you can pause the person and rewind. You can actually just step back the video by pressing the back arrow. Another main distract. Another main disadvantage of learning at home is all the distractions. For example, uh, my email just bonging up there, or for example, my phone being out and WhatsApp going crazy. So what I want you to think about is blocking yourself off periods of time to do the study work that you've been set. Put your phone away, put your phone away, put your phone away. Put your phone away if you're using a laptop for your study. But uh, if you're using your phone for study, then you have to be disciplined to just get rid of the notifications as they come or pause notifications if you can. And if you really can't put your phone away, then make it part of your study by downloading something like Forest or another kind of study focus app. That actually, that app will mute all notifications for whatever time you set. So if you want to focus for one hour on study, you can have that as a timer and it will tell you when your hour is over and you've completed that hour of study and it will stop your phone distracting you during that study time. There's loads of different apps like that if you just put study focus into the app store you'll find something it's really important that you find somewhere appropriate to study in your house that might have to be the living room it depends on your own situation in your own house but make sure that there's as few distractions as possible having a movie on at the same time or having a browser open on an iPad or something like that is another distraction that's going to take your focus away from that video make sure that you go at a speed and you pause the video at appropriate places if you need extra time to process the information because we tend to present a lot of information very quickly on video it does not mean you have to digest it at that speed it is true that a lot of people think they're very good at multitasking now if you're good at multitasking what is actually the case is that you can switch between tasks more rapidly without getting as distracted. I hate to burst your bubble, but nobody can actually multitask. It's not really possible to be able to do multiple things at once. We have lots of evidence for that. It's not really possible to, for example, call your friend and watch a video and take information at the same time. But what you could do if you wanted to engage things with, your, with a friend is say, right, let's both watch this video, this 10 minute video, then I'll call you and we can compare notes and we can discuss the bits that we didn't understand. That would be a really good way to cooperate with your friend on studying a video. So also you can't ask questions during a video, but what you can do is make a note of your questions and actually save them up and ask later. Now all schools have provided ways that you can get in contact with your teacher during this time, during any study period. So as you're watching, make a note of any questions that you had and then email them to your teacher or ask your teacher if you see them later or on any kind of chat app that's been set up for you to interact with your teacher. I strongly suggest that you also make notes as you watch a video. They don't have to be elaborate, they don't have to be attractive, but if you're just noting down the key points that the presenter highlights as they go, maybe they're the key things that they show on screen, then that's going to help you think back and remind yourself of all the things they said during that video. I guess what I'm trying to say there is you do have to study a video. It's not like watching TV, you have to study the video. So just to sum up really, the most important things is that you have a, a place to study uh, that is quiet and that is calm. So not with your feet up in the living room, also trying to watch a movie at the same time. That's not going to work. Put your phones away, eliminate any distractions, close the email, close Teams if you're using Microsoft Teams and make sure that you actually have your undivided attention for that video. Save questions for later, make notes as you're going and make use of the fact that you can pause and you can rewind and you can go at your own pace through a video. Thanks a lot for watching.